How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> Let's go! So, we are, um... I'm pretty sure this is not... The elevator isn't... Yeah. I cannot touch that elevator. Well, I can touch it, but I can't use it. Alright, let's go. Maybe. Let's go up. I don't know what to say here. There's just nothing going on. It's way too quiet. It's kind of frightening. Why is it when I say that, that's when music starts? <laughs> There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Can you take it? Yep, you got the heart-shaped locket. Yeah, the only way I can use it now is just if I use it. I, I literally have to equip it now. Warm dagger inside. Will you take it? Yes. You equip the dagger. <laughs> I've had this stick the whole time. Screw weapons. The only reason I'm getting this one is because of what's upcoming. What's in here? Room under renovation. Oh. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Hindered by his fall, the human called out for help. Okay. Time to learn the backstory of someone. Two, maybe, people? One. You took the key to the... Yep. Yes, I did. It's Asgore's journal. All the current pages say is... Nice day today. Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Probably means he recently did it. Hey, it's me! It's a golden flower. Oops, no, this. Despite everything, it's still you. It's a golden flower. There are a lot of golden flowers in here. Are these even real? As real, the king's son heard the humans call. He brought the human back to the castle. Yeah. I remember it. I think I remember Whoa! Is this a golden flower? It's a golden flower. I've never interacted with these, actually. There are photo albums. Scrapbooks. Books on how to make tea. Okay. Seems like gardening tools. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Whoa. That is a really ridiculous voice to do. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, hell well. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Gee. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use fire and magic instead. Hmm, I wonder who that might be. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Actually, can I interact with the this? The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Aw, oh, the song's over. Normally, I'm actually able to go through this whole thing with, like, precision timing on that. It's a golden flower. Yeah, I figured. You unlocked the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of... T what? I, I, sure, that year, yeah. The date is circled on it. Okay. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Okay. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. 
I can see that being a little bit of a problem. Uh, guys, I'm running out of voices. Next day. Next day. The human died. Wow, that's morbid. <laughs> Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Yeah, I knew. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Ah, uh, it's not gonna end well, is it? Knowing humanity, that ain't gonna end well at all. That's real rain just ever on the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Oh boy. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Israel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, there's so much proof to back that. Oh, boy. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't. Obviously. <laughs> what? Azrael did not fight back. Guys, come on. Again, I'm running out of voices. You're making me use other characters' voices for you. Clutching the human. Azriel smiled and walked away. Oh boy. Foon and Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Well, that one was pretty much the same as the froggy, because that's what they look like. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. This obviously takes place after they were banned. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Um... Hi! It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? That one was kind of... What? You're going to be free. How stupid are y'all? Okay, well, here we go. <sighs> Hi, Sans. Ding dong. Ding dong. Yeah, ding dong. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, we will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. What action? I didn't do very much. You will be judged for every EXP. Definitely didn't do that. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love 2 is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. <sighs> A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. <laughs> but you, you never gained any love. 
Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Well, no duh, Sans. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, <laughs> you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained any love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Well, to the player, it does. To Frisk, who's behind this camera thingy right now, it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. <laughs> your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. Uh, I mean, I guess. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? There's a third option. We just don't know it yet. Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? No. I got this far by slapping my hand with the controller over and over and over. Yeah, all the movement, all the fights, nah. That wasn't me moving the analog sticks or anything. I was just slapping my hand. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you have something called determination. Yep, that's what this is. <laughs> Shut up. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thanks, Sans. And you're gone. Okay. Of course you're gone. Actually, no, well, no, too late now. Well, yeah, too late now. Never mind. I was going to show off a little secret that happens if you reload save points before talking to Sans. You talk to him a bunch, but you know. Duh. Oh boy, this voice. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. See? See? Time passes when you slap a controller. <laughs> Hi. Howdy. How can I... Awkward control slap. Just awkward control slap. <laughs> I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. It doesn't have to be that way, Asgore. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Nice day today, huh? Dude, if you wanted to kill me, you would have already done it. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Or, you're not Sans. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a day for a game of catch. <laughs> Awkward controller slap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Uh. Oh boy. Why don't I explore the room a little bit first? It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Can I just sit in this throne? It's a throne. I can't even look out the dang window. Why the hell not? I can't even look out that window. Ugh. <sighs> Fine. How ten? 
ailments. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Um... Are you ready? Not really. <laughs> if you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Well, good, because we get to wait another five days before we do this, because I am going to leave this video here. I know, it was a shorter video, but I know it's coming up, and there's no way I can fit this within a ten... Well, there's no way I can fit this within ten minutes or less. I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. But, for right now, just to be safe, I am going to leave this video here. Before I just do more awkward controller slaps, because I got no jokes for this video. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Undertale. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for an indie game you'd like me to do? Let me know in the comments below. Or, want to check out one that I've done... Have I done one? Maybe? If you want to check out an RPG or an indie game that I've done prior to this one, I'll have a link to one across my head here. This particular one, if you've missed anything on this nostalgia trip so far, will be in the top right hand corner. However, this train is heading off to another stop right now, so we got half, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!